All right, so we have the two pits here at the park, off leash. And uh, we have another pit down there. He has zero manners. The guy's letting him chase the ducks, letting him run all over the place, pulling him. And then we have these two guys here. So this is a big, this is the difference between working with your dog and letting your dog be an asshole. Sorry about the language there, but that dog will be nothing but a headache and he's going to have major problems with it throughout the dog's life. I guarantee it. But these two can hold it down. Uh, we got ducks and geese out here. We got idiots with dogs that are out of control and they don't seem to care. And uh, these two are just doing great. Now, I did have an issue yesterday with the dogs, with uh, Dexter and Zeke and Dana and Riggs. All four of them got into a fight. And I had to jump in the middle of it and choke dogs out to break it up. Uh, Dana did suffer a little bit of a problem on her eye, which I'm taking care of. I'm keeping an eye on to make sure it doesn't get worse. All right, here comes this dog, and uh, here's R2. Let's see how good they do. I do have them on a collar. Dex, no. I don't even want them looking at that dog. Stay. No. Stay. down and I'll just keep reminding them every time they even want to look over there they'll get a little correction as you can see he has zero control dogs 15 feet out in front of him pulling like a tank and these two are just being good so back to what I was saying, is Dana got a little cut, or not really a cut, but her bottom eyelid is swollen. So it's kind of bugging her. But it's not getting red and it's not getting worse. I have some, uh, just some wide spectrum antibiotic pills that I give her, just in case. It'll keep infection from coming in if it did, if it did want to. And I've been putting uh, basically Neosporin on it to keep it good. So she's not, it's not bothering her. She's not scratching at it or rubbing at it or anything. So that's a good sign. And uh, Dex is doing great. He kind of latched on to Zeke yesterday and I had to jump on him and put Dexter in a choke hold and get Dexter off of Zeke. And then Dana decided she wanted to join in the fun. And so she ran up and I had to grab her with my legs and I had Dana in the, sciz in the head scissors. And then Riggs jumps in and he jumps on Dana and then luckily right about that time, Amy came outside and helped me get control of the situation. And she, she got the, the two pits out of there and, and, I got, and I took care of my two dogs. But unbelievably, Dana's little swollen eye is the only injury we suffered, which was very fortunate. I'm very lucky. And, but we got them broken up and then today they were fine. So it's just when you have pit bulls, that's always going to be a concern. I mean, all dogs will get in a fight. All dogs will get in scuffles. It's just when pit bulls fight, it gets serious and in, in, in a hurry. But these two are great. I mean, they were they they couldn't be nicer toward people. They're just they're lovers toward people, and uh, they're great dogs. Ninety nine point nine percent of the time, uh, Dana's not a fighter. She just got stimulated and excited and I think that's what caused her to get into it but uh Dexter's a strong powerful dog and he's and he's fast so it's something you got to always be a, be aware of if you're going to own a pit bull uh they do they are prone to some dog aggression and some some dominance so you just got to have a third eye but uh not like I said 99 points of the time I don't have to worry about them they're great We've got people walking by here, and uh, they're not moving. And I can walk away.
Come. Yes, good. Down. So when they're like this, they can't they can't be any better. But uh, what I do with with Dexter, especially if he's around another male dog that shows dominance like Zeke, then it can escalate. So in the future, which I already told his owner, I would uh, just be wary of what dogs he keeps Dexter around. Uh, male dogs that are dominant and high energy, I would avoid. Uh, submissive, calm dogs, he's he's fine with, no issues. And uh, so yeah, that's just kind of the the lowdown on what happened yesterday. And like I said, the owner has been totally informed of everything. It was a pretty crazy morning, and uh, some of it was my fault. I took it for granted because I I didn't think there was going to be any problems, and then there was a problem. So learning experience for me and. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always, I'm learning something new all the time with when you have dogs around like this, but, but, uh, that's not going to happen again. So, but anyway, on the bright side, they're, they're doing great. They listen good. They're calm. They're not going crazy. They're not causing a ruckus out here in the park. So, uh, their owner will be able to take them and enjoy them, which is the ultimate goal. All right, we're going to continue our day, and uh, we're probably going to be out here another hour and a half because uh, they go home tomorrow, and we'll see you later. All right, toodles.